hello everyone welcome back in this Laravel video tutorial we are gonna learn how we can insert the value from the Laravel to MySQL so in the last video we just see the how we can fetch or select the data from the database so if you are not familiar with this then you have to check our check out this our the last video and in the last video we just set the configuration also so how we can set the password username and database also so you can watch our previous video also so let's start with this video and just take an overview of the how we can set the, the configuration also for that you have to go with the configuration file and click on the database.php file and here you have to choose change the three lines uh, three key points which is the database name username and password password if you your php my admin don't have the password then you can leave it the null or blank otherwise you can put the password so that's it and uh, you are able to connect with the database and here we just uh, use the select query and in this video we we will use the insert how we can insert the data so now just go to your php my admin and click on the laravel database i have one table which is the test and here you can see that i have just two database which is the anil and Preeti. and now just go with the insert query so for that uh, uh, you have to insert uh, you have to import the database library here also and with this library just use the gb scope resolution and insert method and pass the insert query insert into table name here you can put the table name here also so and if you have uh, okay so let's check the table name this is a test so right here test and just give the parameter names like ID name and last one is email all right and write the values and here you can give the three question mark why this question mark this is uh, this will save you from the MySQL injections and this is used for the security purpose also so this is referred in the uh, Laravel also and this is the syntax for uh, SQL injection you can see or the very previous video about that so now just you have to pass a one more array uh, first for the first one for the ID second one for the name and let's name like John Cena and third one is John okay take it as a string at the rate test.com okay and let's check it out on the browser so we got the result one here that means this is this this result should be inserted so let's check it so here now you can see that we have the three result here so this is a very simple way to how we can insert the data in the Laravel. So thanks guys, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you have any kind of suggestion, then let me put in the comment. Thanks guys, thanks for watching this video.